I've had a lot, you and I were talking before the call. I've had a lot of failures. Um, I think in general, the failures that we've had are often small when we listen and look for red flags or maybe yellow flags, right? So you, and, and, and in hindsight, it's pretty easy to see them. Um, you know, oh, I did this and and I wasn't looking, so I didn't see it. So then I failed. Um, and the more I found, the more stubborn I am, the bigger it is. The more my ego gets in the way, the bigger the failure it is. And um, I mean, I, I can can tell you a lot, but a lot. So specifically in real estate, I mentioned the team that I started. Um, again, I was sort of following my ego and we started a real estate team and I had some agents. I'm like, oh man, I can, I can start my own real estate brokerage. And without really asking why, sort of following the crowd of the people we were with, we did it. And it was expensive. I had six to nine months of lost productivity. My budget went way up. We started hiring people just in preparation for it. So, I mean, my my expenses were you know, probably $10,000 a month higher, 15. Um, and I wasn't making that much money. So it was like, whew, I, I eventually... I, I brought in a, a national franchise and um, I'll keep the franchise nameless because I truly think they're a great franchise. I think that, you know, there is somebody that should be opening this, this franchise here, but it wasn't me. I was the right, I was the wrong person in, in the seat. And so the realization was like, I knew before I started, like, I probably shouldn't do this, but I, I kept plowing ahead because I'm like, I can't stop now because I said I was going to do it. And it just got worse and worse. And, and I just asked myself, like, why am I doing this? And, and I realized it was my ego. It was just like, well, I, I, can't, I can't not do it because, you know, I told Justin I was going to do it. And, you know, I told him we're going to start this big brokerage and we did it. And then it was a big failure. Um, it didn't catch on. Uh, it was very hard to recruit to. And, um, because it was a fixed price, it was extremely expensive because we didn't see the revenue. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I mean, that was a, in hindsight, there's a lot of red flags that I, I didn't see, but I should have. Um, and, and you mentioned mentors earlier, and I think it would have been a better idea to bring in um, some, some additional mentors that weren't brokers. So I could sort of see the different paths. When you only spend time with brokers, you're going to be a broker. Yeah. But, um, and I, I think I leaned a little too heavily on the person that I thought I wanted to become, not looking at the other investors or other um, real estate professionals. Yeah, no, that's a good thought.